Here I shall cover every crossover point between Harlick and Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicle. It is also my recommendation that when reading the two series, one read them side by side so that one sees the full story of how not only the Tsubasa events play out, but how they intertwine with the Hollick events, and vice versa. As such, my recommendation is thus, read to one of these points in one of the series, and then catch up with the other one. And of course, read them in, very, in certain orders, as we will see in certain um, slides on this video. Now for simplicity's sake, the Tsubasa image will always be on the left side, and the Hollick image of the same crossover point will be on the right side, unless otherwise specified. And furthermore, when we get to certain points, the some images will be smaller because those are reference points, they do not have an exact crossover point such as these two which occur in both book series, but more on that later. So the first crossover point is their first meeting. This is where Shaolin, Sakura, Kurogane, and Fai show up at Yuko's shop. This occurs in Tsubasa chapters 1 through 3, volume 1, and Holic chapter 7, volume 1, to chapter 8, volume 2. The next crossover event is when White Mokina sends an apple to Black Mokina in Tsubasa chapter 5, volume 1, and Holic chapter 9, volume 2. As we see here, White Mokina eats the apple in the Hanshin Republic, and Black Mokina spits it out for Yuko. The next event is when White Mokina phones home. This occurs in Tsubasa chapter 7, volume 2, and Holic chapter 10, volume 2. This is one of the small little ones that could easily be missed. As it occurs in the Hanshin Republic, White Mokina decides to make a phone call home. And Black Mokina picks up. That's one of their abilities they can communicate to each other, like telephone. The next crossover point is the Cordio Exchange in Sparsa Chapter 17, Volume 3, and Holic Chapter 15, Volume 3. This occurs when Shower and the group are trying to get into Lord Tomball's palace, castle, and they need Yuko's assistance. As such, Yuko sends over the spirits that, Mo that Black Mokina ate at the 100 Ghost Stories, and it's basically a magic ball that can take down a magic barrier. Next up is a point which I cannot find a Hollick equivalent. In Tsubasa Chapter 26, Volume 4, White Mokuna talks to Black Mokuna. So we see in her sleep she's talking about Kurogane, a picking on her. But there's no Hollick chapter where this, where Black Mokuna hears this message. As well, I will say that this is confirmed that White Mokuna is talking to Black Mokuna in the Tsubasa guidebook. The next event is when Black Mokuna sends chocolate to the group. This occurs in Holic chapter 21 volume 4 and Tsubasa chapter 34 volume 5. This time the Holic event occurs first. Yuko had Watanuki make some Valentine's Day chocolates. Black Mokuna sends them over. And we see here White Mokuna spitting them out while the group is in Oto country. Oh yeah, this occurs in Jade Country, by the way. So next occurs, uh, the next crossover point is when Yuko names the Cat's Eye. This, this starts in Holic Chapter 22, Volume 4, and carries out in Tsubasa Chapters 36-37, Slash 39, Volume 6. And so here we see the discussion in Holic, where Yuko hears about the shop in o uh, the cafe in Oto Country, and says that they must name it the Cat's Eye. Meanwhile, White Mokina is saying that she hears some sort of commotion coming down, well, coming from downstairs. That is when Shaolin and, and Ryuo are starting a fight. And here we see it picked up here when White Mokina does come down. And then later in Chapter 39, White Mokina says that Yuko is saying the name of the cat's eye. The next occurrence is when Yuko sends bamboo. This occurs in Tsubasa chapter 48 volume 7, Holic chapter 27 volume 5, 
Hawaii event occurs, goes first. At this point, Yuko is getting impatient, waiting for a white day gift, so he decides to send a mysterious item. And we figure out what that mysterious item is in Tsubasa when the bamboo shoot with a note comes out. In the middle of Seishiro and Kurogane's fight in Eninus country. The next occurrence is another easily missable one, but it is confirmed in the guidebook. Where Black Mokina sings and White Mokina potentially corrects the song, or at least continues the song. This starts in Halak chapter 28, volume 5, and Tsubasa chapter 50, volume 8. Here we see Black Mokina singing in this random scene, and then White Mokina seems to be picking up on it. This occurs meanwhile, while the group is in Idol Country. The next event has no exact crossover point, hence we're using a reference point by the smaller image. This is where Asha requests to be made a god along with Yasha. This occurs in Tsubasa chapter 66, volume 10. Meanwhile, in Holoc it occurs between chapters 34 and 35 in volume 6. Here is an image from volume 35 where Yuko is on the phone because she is already away, and the reason for that is to make gods. Hence the request comes first. The next one is when Yuko receives payment for making the gods. This occurs in Tsubasa chapter 69, volume 10, and Holic chapter 38, volume 6, before Yuko returns home. Here we see her receiving the payment, and here we see her having returned home, so naturally this occurs while she's out. The next event is when Yuko checks in. This occurs in Tsubasa chapter 77 in the 78 volume 11, and in Holic chapter 41 volume 7. This is quite apparent by Yuko's wearing the same exact outfit. And here in Holic we only get the very tail end where the, the transmission is ending. The next one is when Sakura calls to give Yuko a gift. And so this occurs in Tsubasa chapter 90 volume 12 and Holic chapter 44 volume 7 before she goes to Domiki storehouse. Here is the communication there. Meanwhile we see the same outfit and she's going to the Domiki storehouse during the whole bookworm event. So this naturally occurs beforehand because she's, as we see here, it says, are you going out in a few minutes? The reason to going out is for the storehouse. And so now at this point, in the, if you're reading along in the Ballantine books, which is what I'm using, the Holic chapters aren't listed anymore, and so I'm just going based on the art pages, not necessarily what is official on the wiki for chapters. So here is your reference table for each of the volumes in order to keep along with how I'm counting. So the next event is when White, Mokuno, and Yuko talk. Yuko comments on Faye's plan af and afterward. This goes in Tsubasa chapter 98 to the Untold Story 86 in volume 13 and chapter 100 volume 14 in right after. Meanwhile in Holic chapter 46 volume 8 is the crossover point. So here, Watanuki has just fallen asleep. We see Yuko wearing the same outfit that she uh, that she's wearing when White Mokuna talks to her in the untold story. This occurs while Fai and Sakura are out for a walk while Kurogane is talking with Shaoran in the court. And then after the conversation, we see Yuko still during that same night with the same glass that she w is drinking from in this scene. And so her comments take place right, right after. The next crossover point is when Yuko senses that Tsubasa Lee is awakened in Tsubasa chapter 107, volume 14, and Holic between chapters 49 and 50 in volume 9. Here we see her sensing he's awakened as she's walking out of the shop. And the reason why she's walking out of the shop is to, well, meet up with Watanuki after he's had the... Uh, I forget what it's called. It, it, he experienced a basically dream that became reality after buying a dream from Himoi and Domaki. The next event is when Tsubasa Lee arrives at the shop in Tsubasa chapters 1 and 15, 1 and 16, volume 15, and Holic chapter 54, volume 9. Now, the next one is when Yuko speaks in the night about Faye. This occurs in Tsubasa chapter 119 to 120, volume 16, and Holic chapter 58, volume 10, when Watanuki is talking to Haruka. 
The reasoning for this is that this outfit she wears when Watanuki is injured, but at the same time we know these events occur beforehand, so likely this occurs in the night when Watanuki is having this dream and talking to Haruka. The next event is when Yuko is in the storehouse in Tsubasa chapter 122 volume 16. Likely occurs still when Watanuki is talking to Haruka. The next one is when Yuko talks to the others and makes a deal with Kamui and Kurogane in Tsubasa chapter 124 volume 16 to 126 volume 17. Again, she's still in the same outfit. This likely still takes place before Watanuki wakes up, so when he's talking to Haruka. The next event is when Yuko sends water to Tokyo in Tsubasa chapter 127 to 128 volume 17. This one does occur in Hollow chapter 58 volume 10 and we can get more confirmation as to when this is because more and more I'll say that the mistress has an errand in the treasure room, also known as the storehouse. And so when they're saying specifically an errand, yeah, she's likely sending the water at this point. The next event is when Yuko talks to Fai in Tsubasa chapter 130, volume 17, and Hollick chapter 58 to 59, volume 10, while Watanuki's at school, or potentially a little earlier in 58 when he's talking to Kohane, just sometime in that kind of maybe early morning to afternoon time frame. The next one is when Sakura sends an egg and Yuko talks to the group in Tsubasa chapter 133 to 134, volume 18, and Hollick chapter 60, volume 10. And so here we see Watanuki having been injured. Yuko receives the egg, and then she continues to talk to them, and we see Watanuki's been injured, likely Himawari, and he has already left, so this takes place afterward. The next is when Yuko and Black Mokin discuss the group after they leave Tokyo in Tsubasa chapter 135, volume 18, and Hollick chapter 63, volume 11. Here, the Hollick event is first. This is seen based on the outfit. And then the conversation picks up in Tsubasa as we see the ending where she's starting to, to change clothes. So hence, this the Tsubasa event actually occurs second this time. So one would want to read the read up to the Hollick point first and then the Tsubasa for this instance. Next is when Black Mokuna tells Watanuki how the group is doing. This occurs in Hollick chapter 65, volume 11, and likely in Tsubasa between chapters 135 and 136 in volume 18. So Black Mokuna is telling Watanuki here. Meanwhile, the group is moving on, so this potentially takes place in the world that Sharon attacked before they arrive to Infinity when the whole bunch of the next events occur. The next is when the group talks to Yuko in Tsubasa chapter 139, volume 18. This occurs in Hollick chapter 66, volume 11, likely before Wadi rise at the shop. It's apparent because the outfit that Yuko is wearing is the same. And before Wadi arrives, Yuko is with Mokuna, so likely they were having this conversation right beforehand. Now the next two events in Tsubasa are flashbacks. They do have definitive Hollick points, so it's up to the reader, though, to go back and see when those exact events occur. I'm not putting them in chronological order. First is when Sakura talks to Yuko before the main events of Infinity in Tsubasa chapter 1 and 43, volume 19. Its crossover point is Hollick chapter 65, volume 11. Maybe before, maybe after the girl receives the second bell. All we know is that Yuko is wearing the same outfit. But this conversation could occur in the morning, could occur in the night, I don't know. And the next flashback is when Sakura makes a deal with Yuko and learns about the chess game prize. In Tsubasa chapter 145 to 146 volume 19. This occurs in Hollick chapter 66 volume 11. And if you go back to the slide with 139 to 66, likely the night after that. What we know is that Yuko's wearing the same outfit. And so again, this is, occurs on this day. But I think in the night. The next one is when Yuko comments on occurrences and then talks to the group in Tsubasa chapter 147, 149, volume 19, chapters 150 to 152, volume 20, it's hollow crossover point of chapter 68, volume 11, and chapter 70, volume 12. So the first one events are the start of chapter 68 in Hollick, 
and then we see the end toward the end of, of uh, chapter 68 Yuko is picking up the tube which is the one that houses the clones later on and then in Tsubasa we pick up on the same scene with Yuko putting the tube back down and then of course the events continue onward with her discussion before she finally contacts the group meanwhile though she mentions that Sakura has met Watanuki in dreams it doesn't occur for another couple chapters in Holic, so I'm thinking this might be a continuity error either that or dream time works differently it's weird but this would be the only continuity error in the entire series Next is when Yuko sends the group to Celeste in Tsubasa chapter 1 and 53 volume 20. This occurs in Holic chapter 69 volume 11 before she checks in with Watanuki. This is apparent because she's wearing the same outfit, but at this point when we actually see her wearing that outfit, Black Mokuna decides to get in the bed and sleep with Watanuki, and so naturally Black Mokuna wouldn't be used as a telephone at this time, so it has to occur beforehand. Next is when Watanuki talks to Sakura in dreams and meets Tsubasa Lee in dreams. This occurs in Tsubasa chapter 158 volume 20 and Holic chapter 73 volume 12. So we first see here Watanuki meeting Sakura and then of course he meets Tsubasa Lee. Meanwhile in Tsubasa they are in Celeste dealing with King Ashura and we see this same parallel scene. The next event is when White Mokuna The next event is when White Mokuna talks to Black Mokuna in a dream in Tsubasa chapter 166 volume 21 to chapter 167 volume 22. The crossover point is Holic chapter 74 to 75 volume 12 sometime during the dreams of these chapters. And so here we have the Tsubasa events here where White Mokuna mentions that she heard about the earring from Black Mokuna in a dream. In this picture, we also see where Black Mokuna is sleeping in Yuko's arms, so likely this is potentially when Black Mokuna was dreaming for this. And a reference point here is about this point in Holic because this occurs before Watanuki talks to Yuko. And it would also potentially occur before the next one as well. Which is when Watanuki meets Tsubasa Lee again in dreams and Black Mokuna wakes up and talks to Yuko briefly. This occurs in Tsubasa chapter 1 and 67 to 1 and 68 volume 22 and in Holic chapter 76 volume 12 to chapter 77 volume 13. So here Watanuki picks up the telephone and we hear do not vanish. But then in uh, Holic the events immediately move to Watanuki talking to Yuko in a dream. Meanwhile, in Tsubasa, we get this encounter with, with Tsubasa Lee and Watanuki in a dream. So this is definitely taking place at this Do Not Vanish point, but it's very consolidated in Holic. Meanwhile, in Tsubasa, we also see how Black Mokuna was waking up at the, after Tsubasa Lee was waking up. However, at this point, Black Mokuna is probably still in dreams, but talking to Yuko at this point. And then here's a reference point where Black Mokuna is seen in Watanuki's bed though. So likely Yuko placed Black Mokuna there right before Watanuki went into her dream in order to speak to her. Now the next event is once again a flashback. This is when Fai talks to Yuko in Tsubasa chapter 171 volume 22. And we have here a crossover reference point, Holic chapter 69, volume 11, before the events of Tsubasa 153, though. You remember that same outfit? And so here's a ref relative reference point, and then shortly after will be the events of Tsubasa 153, which we saw earlier. Then Watanuki meets Sakura Shawa and Tsubasa Lee in Dreams in Tsubasa chapter 173 to 174, volume 22, and Holic chapter 77, volume 13. And this is a perfect crossover point. Next is when Yuko talks about the Tsubasa events in Tsubasa chapter 176 to 177, volume 23, and Holic between chapter 77 and 78 in volume 13. 
it's apparent mostly based on her outfit. Next is when Yuka and Black Milk are discuss the group and then talk to the group in Tsubasa chapter 180 to 181 volume 23 and Holic chapter 79 to 80 volume 13. Now the point here we see Yuko in that same outfit so obviously that was earlier and then she ends up talking and we see here she references Watanuki and he's carrying that bag and that occurs when Watanuki is going to the television station in order to help Kohane. However, he's carrying that bag similarly with that determination on his face in both chapters 79 and 80, so I'm not sure which chapter this occurs in, but nonetheless around that time. The next crossover point is when Yuko sends the group to Clo Country in Tsubasa chapter 182, volume 23 to chapter 183, volume 24. This crossover point is Holic chapter 80, volume 13, sometime after the last event and before the rain scene of 80. This is apparent because Yuko, in that same outfit, is performing in the uh, spell. However, in the process, she tears her outfit. Hence, she needs to change into this outfit. And so we see that at the rain scene of chapter 80. So, of course, this, of course, this occurs first. Next is when Yuko discusses Watanuki while knowing that Tsubasa leaves return to the ruins. This is in Tsubasa chapter 188, volume 24 to chapter 204, volume 26. Meanwhile, in Holic chapter 87, volume 14. And so first we see in Holic, she enters the storehouse and starts a discussion. Meanwhile, she references this, which is Tsubasa Lee who is in the ruins at this point. Meanwhile, Tsubasa Lee in the period of 188 to 204 is telling a story and so Yuko's dialogue is pretty much occurring at the same time. And then at the very end in 204 we see Yuko see it, it just placed back in Holic the item, potentially a pocket watch I think, back into the box and then Tsubasa she picks up on it after she's placed it in the box and her conversation continues. And the next point, I mean, some of these, if the chapters are merged sort of in the Ballantine books, I will have page numbers for them and rough estimates of the chapters, otherwise the chapters will be listed as normal. So next when Yuko discusses Faye and about the release of Tsubasa Lee's parents in Tsubasa chapter 2 and 16 volume 27 page 72 and Holic chapters 89 to 91 volume 15. So we see here in Holic, an image from chapter 89, Wadanuki is leaving the dream. Then immediately after the Tsubasa events, where Yuko is starting to collapse here. And although the Tsubasa events basically continue very fluidly and very shortly, in Holic it's occurring over a period of weeks up until roughly around this point here, around chapter 91. So keep that in mind, just the uh, somewhat time difference between the two series. Next is when Yuko releases the parents and Watanuki meets them. This is in Tsubasa chapter 2 and 16 and 2 and 17 volume 27 and Holic chapter 92 volume 15. So here we see the start where Yuko releases the parents. And meanwhile in Holic we have the addition of Watanuki as he meets them as well. Next is when Yuko talks to Faye and then the group and then reincarnates the clones. This occurs in Tsubasa chapter 2 and 19, volume 27, chapter 2 and 20, volume 28, pages 1 to 29. Crossover point is Holic chapter 92, volume 15, sometime before Watanuki meets Yuko. So here we see the Tsubasa events playing out, but her time has not started to move just yet, and so we know this occurs before this point or at this, this uh, page at the latest because once Watanuki enters it moves into the very next scene. Which is when Yuko's time starts to move again and she dies. That's Tsubasa chapter 2 and 20 volume 28 pages 30 to 33 and then in one, pages 405 to 107 Faye notices this. It's across our point is Holic chapter 92 volume 15 so here's Tsubasa She's finished her work and her time is starting to move again. In Holic, Watanuki has just stepped in and now she's about to die. And then after she dies, Faye notices here 
Then is when Wananuki meets the Shadowlands and makes a deal to keep himself and Tsubasa Lee alive. And this occurs in Tsubasa chapter 2 and 31 to 2 and 32, volume 28, pages 165 to 205, and in Holoc chapter 93, volume 16. In Holoc, it's only a very brief instance, and it's from Domaki's point of view, where he s briefly sees what Wadanuki sees, and then Wadanuki mentions that he can no longer leave the shop, so it's imperative to read the Subas account to understand why. Now the next events are in Holoc Row, I'm not listing chapters this time, but I'm just going to list page numbers for simplicity's sake, and there are no Subasa parallels, as Subasa vs. War Chronicle has ended at this point. So this first one is when Black Malkin tells Wananuki how the group is back in Piffle World for a new prosthetic arm. This is in row, page 152, volume 16. Next is when the group visits the shop and Wananuki sends on the Cloak Country in row, page 146 of volume 18. It starts on that page and then roughly finishes out the chapter slash volume. Now the final set of crossovers take place in Swasta World Chronicle, Neurotic and I, and Holic Ray. Holic Ray being a mid course series before the row ending, and Neurotic and I being a sequel series for Reservoir Chronicle. Once again, I'm going to be going based on the, on the art pages for chapters, so here's your reference points table. And we're now using Kodansha Comics instead of Ballantine Books. So the first ones are when Tsubasa Lee tries to call Watanuki, such as here in Ray, Chapter 12, Volume 2. He does this again, try and this time trying to call Watanuki's cell in Ray 13, Volume 2, before all of these before Tsubasa World. Then Tsubasa Lee actually successfully calls Watanuki on the phone while Watanuki is in this whole dream world state getting the items. So this is in Ray 13, Volume 2, and 14, Volume 3. Next is when Tsubasa Lee successfully calls Watanuki again, once again before Tsubasa World. This is in Ray 18, Volume 3. Then Watanuki explains how he undertook a job with Tsubasa Lee, so that was once again a crossover point that occurred beforehand, which we shall actually somewhat see in Tsubasa World Chronicle later on. But nonetheless, this occurs in Ray 19, Volume 3. Now here's where the official crossovers pick up again, where Wadanuki gives the items to the group in World Chapter 1, Volume 1, and Ray Chapter 20, Volume 4. Next is when Wadanuki is explaining how he sent Fuma to get Kurogane a new prosthetic arm, and the group is discussing waiting for Fuma. These probably occur around the similar time in World Chapter 1, Volume 1, and Ray Chapter 21, Volume 4. Meanwhile, in Tsubasa, there's also this cover page for Chapter 6, which shows the event of Fuma getting that new arm, which Watanuki is referencing as well in Holoc. Next is when Watanuki fails in an attempt to talk to the group, and then he talks to Tsubasa in a dream. Note Tsubasa is Princess, the original Princess Sakura's real name, different from Tsubasa Lee. Then Watanuki wakes up and talks to Black Mokuna. This occurs in Tsubasa World Chronicle Chapters 6, 7, and 8, Volume 2 and a way between chapters 21 and 22 of volume 4. This is apparent because in each of these scenes, Watanuki is wearing this outfit, but we never see him wearing it again. Similar to the whole rule with Yuko, where she only wears an outfit twice if she's either in dreams or she's using her dimensional witch outfit. Similarly, Watanuki does not wear the same outfit twice, at least not in the series. And since we never see him wearing this, it's likely in between the two chapters. I believe this is the reference point for uh, chapter 22. Now next, of course, is another flashback. Here was what I mentioned before, where Watanuki is talking with Tsubasa Lee about the items that the group will need. Basically, Watanuki's had a vision, sort of, and he needs to collect items to help the group, otherwise they could be in mortal danger. But he needs Tsubasa Lee to request the items. He can't get them for them himself without the request. This occurs in Spots of World Chronicle, Chapter 10, Volume 2, and occurs before the Ray events. Next, when Watanuki sees the Shadowlands in the Otaki and sees Tsubasa and Himegami sending water to the Otaki, in World Chapter 13, Volume 3, and Ray Chapter 23, Volume 4. So here are the Tsubasa events, Watanuki's dropping the dishes, and we see that same scene play out in Holoc. 
Meanwhile, on Tsubasa, we have here Tsubasa and Himeyami sending the water, and then this last end scene with a kind of pan square parallelogram like panning out. Meanwhile, Watanuki is seeing this occur and has a similar panning out sequence. And so the first vision is here that I've listed is page 71 to 73, and the second vision is page 169 to 182 of Tsubasa Wall, by the way. Next is the final crossover point of the entire series thus far is when Wananuki and Tsubasa Lee are talking, and Wall 13, Volume 3, pages 208 to 214, and Ray 24, Volume 4. Very simple crossover point. So this is every single crossover point between Hulk and Tsubasa. Again, I hope this helps not only show how the two are vital to be read side by side in order to understand the full stories, but also I hope this helps give people reference points so they can in fact read side by side without going ahead in either series.